Hi guys, welcome to my 31 week update. Nine more weeks to go until baby becomes super exciting. This week baby is the size of a coconut. Um, he is also the size of a foam finger, which foam fingers I feel like are pretty big. <laughs> so I don't know if that's just like the width of it or the length, like I'm not quite sure. Um, baby's almost at his um, birth height, although he still has some more pounds to gain. Um, he's a little bit under four pounds, about. Baby can now um, swivel his head and look from side to side on his neck. I think he just does that right now, just like if there's light, so that he can like look towards the light, but otherwise he doesn't really need that while he's in the womb. His brain is continuing to develop and also his immune system is continuing to develop as well. This will be important, especially, <laughs> well both, both are very important for him to have. Outside of the womb, he needs to develop his brain um, so he can, you know, progress on in life. And of course, immune system, especially with crazy coronavirus out there, like we need to have a good immune system. So all important things happening. This week I had my well, 31, 32 week doctor's appointment. Um, it was supposed to be my 32 week, but my doctor was out of town. The week I was 32 weeks, so I ended up going at 31 weeks. However, I went at like 31 weeks and six days. So I was like basically 32 weeks. But anyway, I went to my doctor's office. They have, took my temperature again. Again, it was on the inside of my wrist and I was 97.2, so that checked out great. I had to wear a mask the whole time, which was, you know, I don't enjoy wearing masks, but um, it's a requirement now where I live in Columbus, Ohio, we have to wear masks because our cases have been going up. Our deaths are still very low. We've The whole state of Ohio has only been having like six deaths a day. However, our cases are over a thousand a day right now. So yes, I had to wear a mask. I uh, went in and I checked in and they said they'd be right with me so I just went ahead and left a urine sample. Um, the thing I really liked about my doctor's office is I almost never wait in the waiting room anymore with coronavirus. Um, it always seems that I'll check in, I'll go to the bathroom and then once I'm leaving the bathroom like on my way back to go wait in the um, in the waiting room they'll just end up catching me and then just progressing with my appointment. So that's been really awesome. Um, I felt super safe there. It's very sanitary there. This week when I went they had like um, plexiglass up on the front desk to like separate you and the reception desk person. So um, that was new. They took my weight, which I really don't pay attention to the weight that they take when I have, because I leave my shoes on and I have stuff in my pockets. like. I really don't pay attention to that. I just weigh myself at home and that's where I like get my true weight, um, which I did weigh myself um, just a few days ago and I was at 22 pounds, which I think that's about how I've been like a, the past week or so. So I haven't been getting like a total like ton of weight. Um, from now on, baby's gonna start gaining about half a pound a week. And then I think I'm gonna start gaining a pound a week. Um, with the rest of the time being pregnant. So obviously it's gonna go up, but for now I'm at 22 pounds. They took my blood pressure and that was okay. I've always had kind of higher blood pressure. Um, not sure why, I guess that's just how I am. So I believe it was 120 over 82. Um, and so that was okay. I think anything over like 140, they really freak out. My last pregnancy with Grayson towards the end, I started having high blood pressure. It would be like 144 over 90. And so they were really concerned that I might have preeclampsia. I had to do a 24 hour urine catch. It was miserable. Um, and I wasn't concerned that I had preeclampsia. I didn't have swelling, headaches, like none of the symptoms. Honestly, my blood pressure was so high because I was just so nervous every time I went. And so now on my way to doctor's appointments, I just have to like remind myself to like take deep breaths and to be calm so that I give good blood pressure readings so they don't freak out and think that I have preeclampsia. So, so far I've been doing really good this pregnancy with that. I've 
they've not been concerned at all yet. Hopefully that continues. So after they got my weight and blood pressure, they then took me into a room where I waited for my doctor. My doctor came in, she went over the um, results of my blood test from my glucose screening um, that happened three weeks ago. I don't have gestational diabetes, I said that in the last bump date, but in case you missed that one, I don't have gestational diabetes, I did pass, um, and all of my other blood work looked great. My doctor was a little worried at how my hemoglobin was going to look because I guess um, uh, second and third and fourth time moms um, tend to have problems with being anemic and just having like problems with keeping your blood supply up I guess because baby's taking so much and it just takes a big toll on your body so she was worried at how my levels were going to be but they've all been great. Um, my white blood cells, red blood cells, hemoglobin, sugars, like all of that is looking great. So they weren't worried about any of that. Um, my doctor said that I don't have to do any more testing until 36 weeks when they do the group B test where they swab you. It's like, it's really uncomfortable. But that's the only other test I'll have to do until hopefully, hopefully, until I deliver. Hopefully I don't have to do another 24 hour urine catch because that's just terrible if you don't know what that is like basically you have to catch your pee for 24 hours you put it all in this jug and then you have to take the jug back to the testing center so that they can test it and see if there's any protein in your urine because one of the signs of preeclampsia is if you have a lot of protein in your urine that was not fun I did not enjoy doing that so I hope I don't have to do that again my doctor measured my belly with um, the fundal height and this week I'm measuring right on track. So if you'll remember at my last doctor's appointment, I was actually measuring a week ahead. Um, this time I was measuring right on track. So that's good. Um, I want everything to be normal um, and not out of the ordinary. So that was good. Um, we listened for baby's heartbeat and it was 150 on the dot. So that was great. He was kicking like crazy. Um, he's been moving a lot lately, especially in the evenings. He is crazy in the evenings. But yeah, so all that went well. Um, we talked about how the hospitals are doing. She said it's pretty much the same. I can only have one visitor. She doesn't think that's going to change by September, so I don't think I'm going to have be able to have anybody but Anthony and myself and baby in the room, which is kind of a bummer, but it's understandable. Um, Anthony, while in the room, can come and go, so he's not like confined like they used to have it, so that is a little better. Other than that, it's basically the same. I asked her if, if she could tell if baby was head down or not. I'm sure, I wasn't sure if she could like tell from like where the heartbeat was located and stuff, but she said that they don't really start to look for that until 36 weeks, so um, we'll find out. I'm pretty sure he is head down. She doesn't think he is, I think it's transverse where they're laying like sideways instead of up and down because I mean it's hard for me to just sit up straight like this because I can tell like he is up and down like he's very stretched out so she said she could tell that but she couldn't really tell like where the head was located but she's I mean she's not worried about it right now she asked me if I had any new symptoms that I want to talk about and I was just telling her how my back has been killing me and I've been having pain on my lower left rib area especially when I drive and she basically told me that's just pregnancy <laughs> which I figured as well um, she said if it was like low back pain that could be a sign of like pre-labor but it's not low it's just like high up right in the middle of my back so she's like that's just pregnancy aches and pains so she wasn't worried about it I'm not worried about it either I just wanted to gripe about it I guess <laughs> Yeah, so the rest of the appointment went great. Um, I'm going back in two weeks. So from now on, my appointments are going to be every two weeks, and then starting at 36 weeks, they'll be every week. Um, it sounds like I have one more appointment where I can just keep my clothes on, <laughs> and then after that, I'm going to have to start getting undressed, which I am not looking forward to. Um, it's just always so uncomfortable, but it's necessary, so... I get one more appointment, but yeah, so I made an appointment for uh, two weeks from now, so it'll be the end of August, and we'll go from there. So symptoms, I kind of already talked about these, but my back has really been hurting, 
my lower left rib has really been hurting, especially when I'm driving. For some reason, the position that the seat puts me in when I'm driving, it just like almost immediately my back just starts killing. And lately I've been having to wear my belly band a lot more. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. So um, this is my belly band. Um, I got it off of Amazon, but there's a lot of different kinds that you can get. Um, the Amazon one was just cheap. I got it last pregnancy with Grayson because I had back pain more in the second trimester of my pregnancy, not so much in the third, and this one's been opposite. I haven't really had back pain until now in the third trimester. Um, and so I have noticed that I've had to um, wear this more often, especially in the evenings. Um, it just supports my belly and lifts my belly up so there's not so much pressure on my spine. Um, and it also has a band that goes over the top of my belly, which I think also helps put pressure on my ribs so that they don't ache as much. So it does seem to help. Um, it definitely helps with the back. It's hit and miss on whether it helps with the rib pain. But um, baby does not like it when I wear that because it kind of like hugs your belly and so it's constantly putting pressure on your belly and so I think he's just kind of like hey I'm running out of room here like stop <laughs> so he's always kicking when I have it on but I really enjoy wearing it um so I would suggest doing that my doctor also said that they I think at she's like you could even get it at Walmart they have like basically like pillows you can get that have like an opening for where your belly goes in so then you can just like lean over and have your belly get like is I think it's just to relieve pressure off your spine so that your back doesn't hurt so much um, I think I'll be okay with the belly band but it is a good option if it if I if it gets worse I've been trying to sleep with my um, body pillow my pregnancy pillow and it just hasn't been working out for me I just can't get comfy with it Lately, the thing that's been working best for me at night is, um, my husband Anthony, if you can see behind me, he has like these long body pillows that he likes to sleep with, so I've been stealing one from him every night, which he kind of gripes about, but, um, and I just basically kind of cuddle with that and put my belly like on that, and it kind of, it's long, so it's, it does like a good amount of length on my body, and that seems to help me sleep. I don't wake up so... Um, uncomfortable. Um, I do notice that when I wake up first thing in the morning my pelvic region is always super sore and I think that's just like it expanding and like getting ready for baby to pass through but it almost every morning like I'm very sore in my pelvis area. I've been having heartburn here and there. I've had to take um, Tums here and there. It's not consistent. It's not every day. Um, it's just here and there and it's usually just in the evening when it's the worst um, so yeah not the fun most fun thing but at least there's Tums and the Tums work immediately so it's really nice to have those I have been losing a ton of hair lately which I'm surprised about because usually you retain all your hair until you give birth and then you start losing it all um, but I've been shedding a lot of hair and I'm not quite sure if it's just like because it's hot outside and it's summer or what but I have noticed that like I said it's very hard for me to sit up straight with my belly now just because I feel like baby is like totally stretched out and so he's just like pushing up against my ribs and then pushing against um, my pelvic area and so it's very hard to sit upright I'm always wanting to like lean back and that's like more comfortable for me um, usually if I'm too lazy to go get my belly band then I will just put a pillow behind my back and that seems to help because it'll arch it for me I'm super exhausted every night sleeping has been hit or miss um, again it's been better when now that I'm cuddling with uh, my husband's pillow but um, I'm getting up several times throughout the night now um, it used to be like oh just once during the night and now it's like three four times a night that I'm getting up to pee so um, it's just a lot of waking up in the middle of the night thankfully I haven't had too much problems going back to sleep the other night I did have a problem I was up at like 4 a.m. and then I just couldn't go back to sleep I had like too much on my mind I couldn't get comfy I've had a lot of problems trying to get comfortable just because my body's getting so big so hit and miss on the sleep um, so I do drink coffee here or there just because I'm ex 
exhausted every day trying to keep up with Grayson. I'm potty training right now and so um, that's exhausting in itself. So I'm just really tired. It's really hard for me to bend over a lot now. I'm um, just trying to pick things up. My belly is just so big. It just hurts so much to bend over. So it's really hard like giving Grayson a bath and I'm kneeling and I have to like hunch over to try to get him like wash his body or if he wants me to pick up a toy or he'll play with puzzles on the ground and sometimes he has a hard time like putting a specific piece in the puzzle and so I have to like bend over to help him and oh it just hurts my belly so much. Like I was talking before, Baby is getting more active. His um, moves are a lot more powerful um, and sometimes they can kind of hurt. I mean not like I'm in like I'm crying I'm in so much pain but they do it's like I'll be like ow like that hurts and it's a lot of like sweeping motion like I swear I can like feel like a knee or an elbow just like sliding across my skin um, so he's definitely swimming around a lot in there it's mostly in the evenings and I don't know if that's just because that's usually when Grayson's asleep and so that's when I pay attention or what but usually during the day he doesn't um, he doesn't act up too much. He has been getting the hiccups more and more, so I do feel that a lot more often, which is always fun. I haven't gotten a headache in a long time. My head's been feeling great. Um, I'm still feeling pretty emotional. I talked about that last week too. I'm still feeling emotional. I just get hung up on certain things and I just can't like stop thinking about them and like letting my mind off of them. Um, I've been stressing a little bit about things. Anthony and I are thinking about possibly um, moving um, just because interest rates are so low with coronavirus. And so that's been a little stressful just trying to like get in touch with the bank and seeing what we could get approved for and then we're going to have to find a, a realtor and the market in Columbus is so crazy. So it's just um, been a little stressful here and I know you're supposed to not stress especially the farther you get along. but. It's kind of hard not to. I think I was feeling Braxton Hicks one or two the other day. My belly was just getting like really tight. It didn't feel like painful or anything, but it just got tight. It almost felt like the baby was like moving, but it was just like constant, but it was only for like 30 seconds and then it stopped. So I do think I'm feeling Braxton Hicks here and there, but it's nothing like to be concerned about. Um, I got them here and there with Grayson, but it wasn't that much. I'm expecting, since this is my second pregnancy, my body kind of knows what it's doing, that I will get them at the farther I go along as well. I've been thirsty a lot lately, so I've been drinking a lot of water. Um, I have been peeing a ton, of course at night I've peeing a ton, and then during the day, especially if I drink coffee. If I drink coffee, I'm peeing like every 10 minutes. It's so crazy. <laughs> I'm still craving sweets, um, cookies, and um, ice cream, and all that good stuff. I'm trying to walk more in the neighborhood just to like keep active and not gain so much. <laughs> but that's kind of hard because every day here in Ohio has been like 90 plus. So it's been really, really hot here and very humid. Let me show you my belly shot. Okay, you'll have to excuse me because I am wearing a looser shirt. But here is my belly. Um, people are definitely saying that I have popped, which I mean obviously you can tell. Um, my belly button has popped. I don't know if you can see that, but it is basically flat. It's actually almost a little bit of an Audi. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I do have a big belly. When I was sitting there waiting to get my blood pressure checked at the doctor's appointment yesterday, the nurse um, took a good look at me and she was like, oh wow, you really popped. And I was wearing like a really tight shirt, so it like really looked like I was pregnant and I was like, yeah, yeah, I have a big belly. <laughs> so definitely getting bigger and people are definitely noticing it. So this video is getting really long. I could probably talk more symptoms, but I think that's good for now. Um, I can talk about more stuff next week, so stay tuned for next week for my 32 week update. Thank you for tuning in. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know if you have any questions down below. I'd love to answer them. I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.